the nitty gritty, okay? How do we bloom and stop Dr. Martin boots from rubbing our feet? Hello and welcome back to a new video from, again, another angle, like mixing it up and all, go me. But today, because I got this request so, so, so much, because I obviously wear Dr. Martens a lot, particular favourite being the good old Jaden Dr. Martens. So today I am going to show you how I personally style my Jaden Dr. Martens, how I stop them rubbing my feet because oh my god like everybody's like asked me like how do you stop them rubbing and I was like this you're like Dr. Martens have literally never rubbed me in my whole entire life like I've never had Dr. Martens hurt my feet I literally think they're like the most comfortable shoes so I'm going to show you how to style them I'm going to show you how to stop them hurting your feet and giving you blisters and I'm also going to show you how to like pimp them up a little and so where I buy them from because Jaden Martens are pretty like Jaden Martens maybe that's what they should be called Jaden Martens Anyway, Jade and Dr. Martens are pretty elusive, like they are kind of hard to get hold of, especially these beautiful white ones, but I also have the black ones, so I will divulge where I buy them from. So let's get straight into that video! <laughs> Tip number one is so super, super simple. And you're probably like, uh, duh. But I get asked this question a lot. So a lot of girls have come to me in my direct messages on Instagram and been like, like, how tall are you? Because I'm like super short and I can never get Jade and Dr. Martin boots to fit under my trousers. Like, do you put your trousers over it? How do you wear like flares and stuff like that? Like, they're like, they're just too big for my trousers to fit. Well, I always, always, always roll the bottom of my jeans up. Like, even if I'm not wearing boots, but literally with, like, my Adidas track suits, my jeans, I roll them up twice. So, like, I'm not short, but I'm not super tall. And how I get boots to fit under my trousers is I just roll my trousers up like super simple but it makes Jaded and Dr. Martens look so so much better so I'm gonna show you how I do that with like my favorite pair of jeans so let's take the camera so these are my favorite pair of jeans and you can kind of see how they just look ridiculous like they look like they're too big for me with these boots they just don't fit because they do that horrible like wrinkle bit over the boots and I just look look like an idiot right now but wait for this super simple but mega genius tip so wait you see we just simply roll the bottom of your jeans like so about that much and yeah i am wearing the nerdiest green sock ever and it already looks so much better so that's how to make your Dr. Martens look like they fit under your trousers, is just to roll your trousers up! Revolutionary! <laughs> My tip number two for styling Jade and Dr. Martens is to go a bit extra with them. Go like Kim Kardashian on those Jade and Dr. Martens. Some people think it's really weird. They're like, I can't believe you're wearing tracksuits with Jade and Dr. Martens. But yeah, I will wear Adidas and I don't even care. I will roll these tracksuits up as I showed you before to make sure they fit nicely over my boots. But wear tracksuits with your Jade and Dr. Martens. Like, I dare you, just do it. I am all about tracksuits. This is literally the most comfortable outfit ever and it is so live and I love it. So, obviously, I'm going to say style Dr. Martens with Adidas pants because... My 
my next tip for how to style Jaden with Dr. Martens is also another super simple tip, but a lot of people don't necessarily think about it. And it's to pimp your boot a little with some colourful laces. So like my favourite colour is yellow and I just think literally just by adding, like the simplest thing, just by adding a pair of yellow laces to your Jaden Dr. Martens, it makes them look so freaking cool. They look like, it's like almost like you're wearing a different shoe like it just stops it being like the same as everybody else and especially with the white ones because uh it matches the like little thread there so you just think that looks super cool so you just add some colorful laces to your dr martens and actually i got these yellow ones from the dr martens store so go to the dr martens store and pimp up those Jaden boots mentioned all my styling tips but let's get to the nitty gritty how do we bloom and stop dr martin boots from rubbing our feet so literally whenever i post a picture in dr martin's everyone's like how are you wearing them how did you wear them in how are they not killing your feet well they literally do not hurt my feet at all and it's not because i'm wearing a million pairs of socks literally i will wear one pair of socks put on a brand new pair of dr martin's and they do not rub my feet and it is again there's a theme going on here so super simple i will show you how i tie them up basically you have the boots here my lovely modeling pair of jane dr martens and you see the eyelets go all the way up to the top everyone assumes like oh let's just lace it all the way up to the top super tight uh -uh. wrong because it literally rubs away at your leg your ankle so i only lace my boot up to about halfway and then i don't tie them in a knot just simply i wrap the lace around here so it's kind of tight there and it stops them like slipping on and off so so let me show you at a better angle how I tie them up. So you've got your Jaden Dr. Martin boots on, you just zip them up and we can pull that tight. This is where I attempt to tie my shoelace in one, like this is, you've got your Dr. Martin boot on like so and you zip them up pull them nice and tight down the bottom and this is where i attempt or fail to tie my shoelaces up one-handed but you just wrap the laces around like this and because they're super long because you haven't tied it up to the top and this bit is literally just loose like that you can then go ahead and tie your shoe here so let's just pretend i'm able to tie that and it stops them rubbing your feet so that is my pro tip on how to tie dr martin laces so if you want to stop your dr martin boots from rubbing your feet only tie the laces up halfway to where your ankle is and don't tie them tight around the top and then just wrap the laces around your leg rather than just tying them at the front because it keeps them on and stops them from slipping and rubbing against your skin and that avoids having to wear 10 pairs of socks and destroying your feet and getting blisters so it's worth a shot seeing as it's so simple but it works for me so I really hope it works for you and I hope you enjoyed my styling tip so pimp them with some quirky laces that you can get from the dr martin's store roll up your trousers so you don't look like your trousers are too big and wrinkled and wrinkly 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 and like wear your sweatpants with your dr martin's because to me it's a look so just roll with it and that is my styling and little Jaden dr martin tip so 
I hope you enjoyed it and let me know in the comments down below if you try them and they worked for you and I will see you very soon for a brand new video and on that note comment down below also if there's any other styling or tip videos or vlogs or any kind of video you want to see and I will make it very soon for you because as you can tell I am back on the YouTube bandwagon so see you very soon bye